What's up, what's up, y'all, what's good? It's not an episode when I'm be like, yo, with the drama unfolds, you turn to the rock, even though I said it already. But for my people on Facebook, right, this and think, I think I'm going fucking crazy. You see me? I'm not going crazy, not one bit. I'm good, I'm good, all right? But this is what we're going to talk about. Well, I don't know what be in people's heads, right? Because the girl I was going with, I dealt with her for a whole year. All type of shit, right? So people don't understand. We have these bad relationships. But my last relationship, well, with my kid's mother, it, it helps me. It helps me to maneuver my inner self, but like my emotions. So even if I feel way at the time, and like I look at certain things that shows that you know, it may be a possibility it's going down, it's about to go left. So, when I was doing my last one for a whole fucking year, doing all type of nonsense, be bunkish like this, this all out disrespectful. Now, I understand when people like, yo, they get disrespectful, they got a partner, they partner disrespectful. The whole year, never, never, not once, Every time we try to find something, who's this, who's that? Oh, oh, you just selling clothes? Yeah, motherfucker, why do I, I don't need to lie to you. I haven't lied to you since I've been with you. But you just been lying like a motherfucker. So watch out for people that be like, oh, you know, once we get together, I'm going to introduce you to my family. Because that's how some women feel about men. If a man really cares about you, he introduce you to his mama and his father. He introduce you. He introduced you to the people that raised him. If he got, he got care, if he cares, if he cares. But now you got women that will say the same thing. Oh, when I care for a man, I don't bring around my peoples until I know it's official. I got me a real live wire official. So then you bringing me around, you bringing me around four months, five months. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And why are you always going to the bathroom two and three in the fucking morning, 11 o'clock, eight o'clock in the night? And you just like, you taking your phone. You got to take your phone to use the fucking bathroom every time. So see me, I already knew before I ever got into her phone. See, this is the thing. People don't know how the fuck you really think. So when they think they making moves on you, they got one over on you. And you already in head of them? I'm not saying you kind of in head. I'm talking about you in head. Like, all right, I know what kind of person I'm dealing with. But I need certain actions of theirs to confirm who the fuck I'm dealing with. Because I could be wrong. My thoughts might be right and might be wrong totally on the other side. But when you thinking, when you thinking, you ask certain questions, you watch certain things, you're like, yeah, I, I know this motherfucker. I know what I'm dealing with. So now she upset, she done introduced me to the parents, all these fucking, well, it's not the parents, because the week I was supposed to meet the mother, the mother died. Yeah, she died. So anyway, right? This is what I'm telling you. So a person be like, oh, I introduced you to my family. It might be good. It might not be good. It might be good because they might have a family that would rat their ass out, but that wasn't my situation. My situation at Everybody in her family was looking for us to get married. And then after a while, they kept pushing that shit so much, she stopped talking it too. I don't know you want to get married, but you know, my aunt, everybody I introduce you to, all my family love you. They was like, he, he's good and he treats you nice. This is shit her family is telling her. Right? Four or five months, still getting phone numbers, texts. Yo, meet me downstairs. Yo, when I'm gonna hit that ass again. And oh, that was a long time ago. That was five months. That was seven years ago. That was, it's always in fucking years. And I'm like, why do your text, period, now that you with somebody, right? Why do you have these texts? Why are you not telling me, yo, you can't be texting me like that? My man is gonna be displeased. No, because you felt like when shit ain't going right with me and you, you's gonna go fuck. Because a lot of times you said, oh, you create this, we could have an open relationship. And I'm like, huh? People that, I don't know me, you won't even last. But people that I was talking before I met you, or after I met you, but we wasn't together. 
Hey, I say, you know what? She showed some kind of interest. Let me, everybody, and she looking at messages, certain certain things, texts, and oh, why this person said this? What they said? They miss talking to me. Why well, I don't be talking to them no more? You know why? Because it's your ass. The minute I knew, I said, I'm going to take you seriously. I said, I don't have nothing with them. We just in the process, and nobody knows guarantee if anything going to happen. But since I get to see you in the physical, I'm going to take the chance on you to see where this shit goes. So, no, I'm not going to be talking and juggling and juggling because I don't do that. So if you read something, you misunderstand it. You need to understand it. So she's a search and shit, seven months, eight months, nine months, the same shit, the same shit. So I said, okay, that means when I'm down in Georgia, you out in New York throwing that ass around and shit, you twerking on niggas' dick, you dick rough riding, rough riding, bitch! You rough riding, ain't you? Whether she was rough riding or not, she tried to convince it, even when her family member was like, well, I don't know, because she said she'd be with you every day, but look, I'm not there every day. And when I was there every day, look what the fuck was going on. You still getting all type of messages. So I could just imagine when I'm in Georgia. And you know what's crazy about me being in Georgia? Because this is girlfriends I got. I'm gonna show you my fucking one of my girls right now. I'm gonna show you a few of my girlfriends if I can, right? Is that a flip camera? Ain't no flip camera, ain't no flip camera. But look, I know it's dog, but my girl is right there. You don't see her? She right there. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me my bad, my bad. Look, look, I'm going crazy. Everybody think I'm bugging the fuck out because of the shit I post? Alright, I'm going crazy. Look, this is my girl right here. Look, you see her? You see her? Oh, no, no, no. She's down there. She's down there. Do y'all see her now? Do y'all see her now? She's down there. Focus. Focus. You will see her. You will see her. And this is shit I was to tell this dumb fucking one back in New York. Oh, you probably got somebody down here, and that's why sometimes I can't reach you. I'm like, no, you can't reach me because I be out in the fucking yard. I be cutting the fucking grass. This is why you can't fucking reach me. Or oh, I got my phone in the charge, and I'm down in the fucking basement. So you see, when people got some shit with them, maybe it's insecurities, whatever the case is, they come at you with shit that's troubling, and it troubles you because you're like, this is not what I'm doing. I'm not doing it. So, you know, that's crazy. So a lot of times women act like men try to juggle women is out there trying to juggle men because... After four or five months, don't get me wrong, I'm a little bugged out at times because I always like to give people a benefit of a doubt. I like to give people a chance besides what I think of them because if I got any negative of me with my way of thinking about them, I could be totally wrong and they may prove me wrong. But when I got a certain way of thinking and you prove my thinking to be correct, that means I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. So look, 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 look. Let me, one more time, one more time. I got a girl over here too. Cause a lot of people are like, yo, drama, you got all these girls, drama. Yo, how you do it with all these girls you got? And I'm like, they right here. They got this loud, cause they stand right here with me. They don't talk to me, they don't say shit. They stand right here. So, and then when you come at them, because you be like, yo, you ask, you ask, and then it's like, oh, oh, oh. And then you come at them because you're like, enough is enough. And they're like, okay, I'm going to change, I'm going to change, da 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 And they don't change. There's no fucking change in sight. There's never going to be a change probably. So somebody just put up a post. And I think it was someone like, can a prostitute become a housewife? So I don't know if you're a prostitute or you're a fucking dot, but or whatever you is. If you can't keep your legs closed and you're supposed to have yourself a man, then you just like these men out here that got a bunch of fucking women because these women's opening their legs to them. So don't let somebody tell you that because they into you, they're going to introduce you to their moms, introduce you to the grandparents because they care for you. They might care for you, but that doesn't mean they're not going to have sex with other people. Then maybe they won't have sex with other people if they have the sincerity that they have for you. And a lot of people have sincerity within words. They don't have sincerity within their emotions. Because your words would say, whatever happened between us, I'm always going to be with you. Don't worry about nothing. And then you find yourself worrying about shit because you're like, what the fuck this text? Why is this text set? What time was this text for? 
Whoa, whoa, this one was at four. This was at what time? Who the fuck is, why are they texting you at this time of the fucking? And then you go on my phone. And like I tell people, I'm transparent. So whether you think I'm funny, sneaky, or maybe they got it, ain't nobody gonna be this honest. She would even tell you. She said, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was going this phone and makeup shit. She used to say that shit. She used to say to her brother. Yeah, a lot of times I just make up shit and fuck with him. So now you want makeup shit, and then you get strong with the makeupness or the phoniness, because it's not real, just to see what kind of response you get. And this is how you get your kick off. So now you get your kick off your laughter, and then you want to have me trying to feel fucked up, and then I got to try to prove to you something I'm not doing just to give you comfortability? Why is that making any sense? That I should have to chase you to give you comfortability because you, in your head, got all type of shit of insecurities, past relationships, and whatever sneaky shit you're doing at the fucking current moment. So, yo, with that said, drama rock, drama rock, I'm signing out. I'm quite sure I'll be back. I'm going to keep coming back. I ain't going to never stop not coming back. I'm talking I'm motherfucking down in the dirt. And if I'm not in the dirt, I'm here with you, you here with me. And this is what we do. We hang out, we bang out, we rock out. You heard? Yeah, you heard. Drama rock, I'm signing out. Fucked up again.